click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. It was a dark and still night. Muhammad found himself constantly looking left and right as he quickly walked towards the door. He looked over his shoulder to make sure no one was watching and then knocked on the door. He thought to himself, I hope no one sees me visiting Imam al-Bakr or the caliph will kill me. The latch on the door creaked and the door slowly opened. As soon as he saw the Imam's bright face, he said, Salam. The Imam replied, Salam. And cheerfully asked, Is that you, Muhammad? Please come in. As he entered, he snuck one last glance at the dark streets behind him and quickly shut the door. The Imam welcomed him in, and Muhammad breathed a sigh of relief, feeling safe being in the Imam's presence. He followed the Imam into a small room. As Muhammad walked in, he saw a beautiful child playing in the room. The child was playing with a stick that had a red tassel hanging from it. The Imam gently walked towards the child and smiled as he said, May my parents be sacrificed for you. Are you playing? The handsome child smiled widely and replied, Yes. Muhammad noticed that the Imam was caressing the young child's hair and showing a lot of love and affection as the young child played. The Imam turned towards Muhammad and said, O oh Muhammad, this child, Jafar Sadiq, will be the Imam after me. Obey him and benefit from him. I swear by Allah that he is patient and truthful. He has been given the same beautiful name as the Holy Prophet. Muhammad could not stop staring at the child's pleasant face. The child noticed this and became shy. He tried not to laugh, but this only caused his face to turn red. Noticing this, Muhammad also started to smile and laugh right along with the young child. Muhammad then turned to Imam al-Bakr and said, O oh son of Rasulullah, I have many questions. Could you please answer them for me? The Imam, who was enthusiastically playing with his child, turned towards Muhammad and asked, Why don't you ask my child? Muhammad was surprised and thought, This boy is only a child. How is he going to answer my questions? However, he knew that the Imam spoke the truth, and he trusted him. Besides, he was one of the Imam's best students, so he knew that he had to follow his teacher's advice. As Muhammad was getting ready to ask his questions to the young Imam, he paused and realized he had forgotten all his questions. He rubbed his long black beard, trying to remember his questions. As he was deep in thought, his eyes caught the eyes of the giggling child, and he began to smile. My master, where does laughter come from? He asked. The young child stopped laughing and happily replied, Oh Muhammad, emotions come from the heart, sadness comes from the liver. Breath comes from the lungs, and laughter comes from the spleen. Muhammad was shocked. He had asked one question and received four answers. He couldn't contain his joy. He began to laugh along with the young Imam. Muhammad's laughter was so boisterous that you could see the whiteness of his teeth through his long black beard. Muhammad knew now what a special boy this was. He stood and kissed the head of the young Imam and then and sat back, back down to enjoy dates and bread with the Imam al-Bakr. After some time, Muhammad stood up to leave. The Imam walked him to the door and bid him farewell. As Muhammad walked home, the dark streets were overcome with this strange silence. But if you listen carefully, every now and again, you could hear Muhammad's quiet laughter as he thought about all the wonderful things he had just learned.